work is when all of the adults who are in that dynamic have respect for each other yes. and um, and understand that there's that this is not about territorial yes. ownership, right? Um, but it is about respect. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. A lion. I might go get some more colors. I need a blue one and, a, and another red one. Got you. I'm with you. See, I ain't, I ain't know nothing about Thanksgiving. I get, you see, I'm, 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 I shop like my mom. I get my coats in the summertime. You got to shop two se a season or two before, just in case, you know, and it be cheaper. Because you go at Thanksgiving, everybody in Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Who we starting with? Oh, we can go. Oh, my bad. Hold up. Y'all can hear me? This on or this off? All right, bro. I'm just making sure I'm hoping you ain't trying to set me up. Who, who we got? We ain't seen Stephanie 30 motherfucking years. My boy's loving Oprah Winfrey and L.K. Each other! 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 Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of The Take. I'm your host, as always, Kendra Diggs here on The Take for this Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. Join in the conversation using the hashtag take here on connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. All right, let's get to the big story. The big story this week here, Beyonce and her daughter Blue Ivory are start to star in the film Mustafa, the prequel of The Lion King. And we got a little bit preview right here. This story begins far beyond the mountains and the shadows. On the other side of the light. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. A lion who would change our lives forever. The earth will shake. Hey, you see right here, Beyonce and Blue Ivy and Mud Dog team will star in the prequel of the Lion King called Mustafa. It turns it chronicles the story of Mustafa before he became um King, so Mustafa, um, the prequel to the Lion King, we'll get to see that coming up um, soon, um, near Christmas, I think. So we'll get to know. In other news, we talk about this rapper Kendrick Lamar disses Drake in a three minute song called Euphoria. Kendrick Lamar questions Drake's um, heritage, his biracialness, his um, trying to go after women. And trying to be black. You gotta get a little snippet of this. Yeah. Kendra Lamar is just snapping. And a lot of people are agreeing with Kendra. Some are not agreeing with Kendra. But Kendra Lamar don't care. He's just gonna be himself. So. I don't know how they're gonna go. For Kendra Lamar and Drake. Drake has not responded. Drake tried to respond back with a clap back. Using AR. Uh, he got. Um, yeah, they'll get pulled away from um, using T-Pac and stuff. The clap back at Kendra Lamar. So this rap stuff is just heating up as the year rolls on. I'll tell you that right now. All right, in celebrity news, singer Justin Bieber, you see this picture right here, crying and shedding a tear. A lot of people are wondering what's going on with Justin. Is he's not happy in his situation? Um, hopefully, Justin Bieber may know the answers. We just don't. Hopefully... He is okay. I mean, Justin Bieber, you can still be, have a lot of money, still be depressed, and I get that. But uh, Justin Bieber with this picture right here, him crying, shedding a tear. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, he's all right and um, nothing is not too serious and stuff. So, hey. All right, we go over to this. Um, NFL star Patrick Mahomes appeared on WWE Raw this week. Patrick Mahomes tried to be the heel as he tried to help Logan Paul 
assist Logan Paul with his rings and stuff. I don't get why Patrick Mahomes was a heel when he is known a babyface in his very own hometown that he played for, the Kansas City Chiefs, the famed quarterback, the Super Bowl champion, the three-time champion. Led his rings to Logan Paul, who's a star himself online as an influencer. And they tried to attack um main protagonist Jimmy Jay Uso. Jay Uso's um wrestling for the world title this weekend. I guess we incorporate the pro wrestling show into the uh, mix. So hey, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes made a guest star appearance as Logan Paul's lackey, but he's getting paid by Logan Paul by his prime deal. So hey, you know how they go. Well, speaking of um, Patrick, um, teammate, Patrick's teammate, Travis Kelsey, has signed a contract extension. So, con Travis Kelsey's going to be playing for about another year or two as a tight end. He's a great tight end. Um, maybe he's, he's, he's Taylor Swift's boyfriend in a way. So, Travis Kelsey making millions and millions of dollars on the way he's doing business and conducting business. So, congratulations to Travis and Taylor. <laughs> Speaking of Travis, his brother, um, Jason. Jason relieved, re, um, revealed that he signed a deal with ESPN. He's going to be part of the Monday Night Football program. So, Jason Kelsey will be part of the panel on the pre-show. So, Jason Kelsey, looking big ups. Like, I know he's a big name in podcasting. I know a lot of folks going to podcasting. So, hey, that's what it is. It's a good look. All right, we move on to talk shows, talk shows. On talk shows, talk shows. Vice President Kamala Harris made a rare appearance on the Drew Barrymore show. And Drew Barrymore asked Kamala Harris, how did she raise her stepkids along with the kids' actual mother? And what is the her role as being a step-parent? Take a look. No. If you went into it with such integrity, how do you deal with when the kids are acting a certain way? So... Their mom, Kirsten, and I are friends. We have established a really wonderful friendship. We're on the same team, right, about parenting. Um, we, um, we respect each other and we like each other. And I think what's really important and will make it work is when all of the adults who are in that dynamic have respect for each other yes. and, um, and understand that, there's, that this is not about territorial Yes. ownership right um but it is about respect yes you know i was very clear with the kids i am not here to replace your mother yes. you have that one mother and i'm the second mother mamala <laughs> right mamala and um and i think that when the adults are really clear about you know a commitment to mature relationships it makes it so much easier for the kids because children don't want to have to choose no and no. and it's just not fair to them to put them in a situation where intentionally or not, they're being manipulated around the adults, weird relationships with each other. Right. Well, and that's, you, you have to sort that out. Kamala here, great, great inside details. She may be next in line, become president. And just in case if Biden does get every, his mental faculties in order and stuff. So Kamala here is doing that. And um, we'll see. What Kamala does and uh, how this is going to move forward with her uh, running with vi Joe Biden for vice president again. Okay. Well, speaking of that, Drew Barrymore's friend, Jimmy Fallon, had Doja Cat on his show. Doja Cat uh, sat down with Jimmy and they talked about how Doja had the hairy costume. Look how Doja Cat uh, reacted. Jimmy putting on the hairy costume right now. I don't know if I can. You got it? I don't know. Don't look at my ass. Is this the front? Is this the front? I don't know. I think yeah. That's the back. Just is that do the front? it anywhere. All right, do sorry. it anywhere. I think it's gonna work. Okay. All right. Here we go. Is that how you do this? I like that. That's creative. Okay. And then put him in the front. This is, this is. I shouldn't do this. What kind of outfit are you waking to wear here? There's no front? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is it was a jacket. Oh, my God. You got that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Doja Cat reacting to the situation that um, Jimmy Fallon was in. Jimmy Fallon played our uh, poor T, leaning like a hairy dancer. I don't know why Doja Cat wanted to um, show that. And Doja Cat doing her um, signature moves and stuff. She ain't crazy like she thinks she is. It's just uh, a tease, I think. So, hey. All right. We'll be back with more take. Don't go on away. This is the take here on Connect TV. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the take. I'm your host as always, Kendra Dix here. Glad you can join us here on the take on this Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. Join in the conversation using the hashtag take here on Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. As we're back here on the take, let's get to the political rundown. The political rundown. We're going to talk about, other than Trump and Biden, we're going to talk about some uh, ex-politician that now went back to his own ways, and you won't believe. Take a look. Hey, Club Condo. It's your favorite, Katara. After 18 years in the closet, George Santos pulled me back out. Whatever. Anyway, I hear you're a bunch of little freaks out there, and you love to dance all night long. Yes, George Santos back playing Kitana, saying Kitana brought him back 18 years in the closet. Oh, wow. No, I mean, you had been had this and you was in Congress trying to, oh, man, you got some, you, you crazy, man. You crazy. But, um, hey, if it works for you, it works for you. Good for you, man. But uh, he's on this um this cameo trying to get money. And uh, they send him money to read out. Uh, a lot of folks, you know who. So, uh, all right, on the reality show clip now, we know Monique is a fan, uh, used to be a host of reality uh, TV programs. We just added on the uh, Monique um went viral this week. She was doing stand up in Nashville, and she said some some disparaging remarks about you know who Oprah and Tyler Perry. Take a look. Yeah, Monique took it farther this time. She always taking it farther this time. She she always got something back of the Monique and Tyler Perry. Let it go, Monique. Move on. She can't let it go. She talking about she wants the old Winfrey back, old Oprah Winfrey back from the 80s and 90s. That old Oprah Winfrey is gone. There's a new Oprah Winfrey, a business one, Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry as well. So she got to let it go. She just can't let it go. It's just like. She feel like they done her wrong. They ain't gonna come back and like you just you just been blackballed. That's it. From the entertainment industry. And you guys have to be okay with it. And that's it. That's fine. But she just can't let it go. But who am I to judge Monique and what's going on with her? <laughs> so hey. On um, finally, the viral video of the week. As Kansas, uh, not Kansas, but um Buffalo Bills new draftee, Kenneth Coleman, has sparked some um Viral moments. Kendall Coleman, here's what he had to say during his press conference being drafted to the Buffalo Bills. Take a look. Huh? Nah, man, you forgot what the school in Michigan for two years? You guess, guess where I got this from, though? I'm saying you got to guess. You're going to be wrong, though, but guess. Nah. Macy's. What you mean? <laughs> they, be on, they be on sale on the, on the rack. All the colors. Look, 79 89 Nice little deal. You get the trench coat for like a hundred dollars. Nice little. I will take it up personally. I might go get some more colors. I need a blue one and a and another red one. See, I ain't I ain't know nothing about Thanksgiving. I get you see. I'm I'm, I'm I shop like my mom. I get my coats in the summertime. You gotta shop two season a season or two before just in case you know and it be cheaper. Cause you go at Thanksgiving. Everybody in Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Who we starting with? Oh, we can go. Oh, my bad. Hold up. Y'all can hear me? This on or this off? All right, bro. I'm just making sure I'm hoping you ain't trying to set me up. 
who who we got? Well, that didn't stop there for Kenneth. Kenneth Cole decided that he wanted to talk about that coat. He went to the Buffalo Bills headquarters and decided to give bird's eye view on what his training facility will be. Take a look. Well, what you going at with your boxes? Yeah, yeah usually, usually we'll print like uh. Really? Gloves on. It's not bad. Step in this one. This is not cold. This one's a cold chicken. Hey, boy, that's enough to freeze my, my pants, boy. We trying to go roll in the snow, too? Boy, I just made a grab. I feel like the... Cut the lights off. I feel like the Undertaker. Let's do it again. We, we got to reshoot out. We got to put his music on. This ain't John Cena. It's Undertaker right here. Watch all the smoke come out of here. This how the preacher I be. Ah! What you going at with your boxes? What? Man, let's run the other side. Try <laughs> down. How much the jacket is? No, I don't want to know. $80. It's Macy's. I ain't taking that off. $80? Yeah. Macy's on sale. I bought three or four. That's guess. But you ain't guessing. You know the answer. You ain't going to get it right, but you can guess. Huh? On the jacket? Yeah. $79.89. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, he's training and he's getting himself ready and he's running around like a fool, but he's viral. He's he's having a good time and he's from New Orleans. So Kendall Coleman, under this boy, all what, 20, about 20, 21 should be, but man, he's living his life and um, he's making his new home in uh, Buffalo and it's going to be cold. Kendall Coleman is ready for that cold rather than that New Orleans heat and that weather. It's going to be a change of scenery for Kendall Coleman. I'll tell you that right now. All right. That's going to do it here for Take. I've been your host, Kenny Dixon, saying so long. We'll see you next time for another edition of The Take. See you later.